That's thin stuff back there, so I think I'm gonna rake it into one row. It'll save me having to go the distance with the baler. I can put it all in one, but up here, this stuff here is nice and thick. It's a nice day, people. It's uh, low 80s, it's five, 10 mile an hour breeze out of the southeast. This is just a little cloudy, not bad. Had a chance of rain last night and uh, never came, which I'm thankful for. But uh, this will be the last of it. Hang on here, I'm going to have to do some shenanigans here. These are things you got to kind of work around. So, well. It's not a well, it's a hydrant. This ground up here is rough. Oh my goodness. So, like I say, this is it. This here's what I did. I got heard of that is already. Of course, I also do beyond those creeks there. I'll tell you what, we didn't have to go to the restroom before. We definitely have to go after we go through this. Raccoon poo back there. Shoot. Barn swallows are out again. About 50 of them to start coming around here. About the time I start bailing, they'll be thicker than that. Let's see you just see the bumps in it. One there. There. Save this to last. As if it was going to rain, all the water flows down to those two ponds. One over there, one there with the trees surrounding. So, yeah, this is a nice day. I can't. I'm excited about getting this done. Beats doing it in 110 degree heat with 70% humidity. This is going to be a really nice. Did I tell you it was going to be really nice? Well. It's going to be a nice day. Talk to you in a bit. Well, finished raking. That literally takes about a half hour to do that over there. Not bad. Hooked up to the baler. I'm going to go up and blow all the grass out of it from last time. I didn't have my blower with me last time, but I'd like to start it. that crap all over the place. So, uh, yeah, we'll get going and uh, see if we can get some bales out here. When I bailed last time, I ended up breaking a, ended up breaking a uh, knotter spring. It's actually the spring that controls your needles when they come up into the baler. That thing broke and those needles just kind of went limp. Thank goodness for your your bail your uh, what do they call that your chamber break or your uh, plunger break and that thing breaks or when those needles move and that plunger is moving that break is supposed to stop that plunger from basically making four needles out of your one out of your two needles and it did the job so if you have a baler make sure you crawl underneath there and keep those greased and in good shape because it'll save you couple hundred dollars in new needles so uh yeah get up here truck and blow that sucker off <laughs> 